this is a mellow beat. Peace to the family. Much love, Grand Risings. Hope all is well with you, your family, loved ones, co-workers, things of that nature. Shout out to your supervisor. Shout out to everybody that's in participation with this cosmic realignment uh, family reunion that we call Daily Energy Reading. So, Grand Rising is Risings to all the souls, all the ancestors, those known and unknown known shout out to y'all uh today we are discussing the quantum mechanics for dummies where people kind of don't understand quantum mechanics is sort of like this thing where you hear about minister jew talking about it you hear ampu reference it you read books on quantum mechanics but you don't understand it so first and foremost before we get into the bill i got an analogy for you guys i love analogies because it helps me understand the more complex concepts and simplifying them so the analogy is an old man who's studying the game of basketball like say for instance greg popovich or something like that scientists in quantum mechanics are like greg popovich they study the sport they study the science they know the plays they know the proper defenses to use um, they know the proper offenses to use right they know who to draft they know who to get rid of greg popovich is a genius basketball mind right but say, for instance, he got four players that suited up and they need a fifth. And Greg Popovich like, all right, I know everything about basketball. Let me suit up out there and, you know, tip it off with you guys. Greg Popovich would get washed. But this man know everything about basketball, but he can't contribute to the actual mathematics towards winning a game. And that's the scientist's role in studying quantum mechanics. Now, how this is important to you is that you're the actual player. You're the LeBron James. You're the Kevin Garnett. You're the Allen Iverson. You are the Michael Jordan of the quantum realm. But in quantum understanding people think that the people that study quantum mechanics the Greg Popoviches or the scientists or the institutions that hold this knowledge sacred are the actual players in the game but in this quantum field with these quantum impulses you are the actual player you are the actual MVP of this thing so in the hopes of 
bringing that analogy forward that brings more understanding of your spiritual magical and esoteric abilities did i explain that good enough mm -hmm. okay all right so i'm not i don't want y'all to be confused to thinking that this thing is outside of you or thinking that somebody is better at you than this because they know more about it see in the realms of spirituality astrology esoterics there's a lot of people that study this information they can tell you all about it they give you tips tricks and plays but that does not make them more valuable or viable in the realms of quantum. So before I get into the build, I got a little digression. Um, this morning, I had a chance to listen to Dreamwise's 823 video. Um, Love, Lift, Life channel. Go subscribe. Hit the notifications bell to get updated. Sunday services every Sunday. The major hitters of the conscious community every Sunday. Even the... the it's not a realm of this person got this many subscribers, that many person got that many subscribers, but you will get the all time greats on Sunday service. But you'll also get some of the lesser known, but more quantum, powerful individuals, people like uh, the, the Titan, people like Savvy. You understand uh, people like Michael Bell. These people are just as important as the major leaguers right but it's just at a quantum level so savvy vision uh the titan subscribe to them because it is it's more than having a large following <laughs> it's it's about being very small and compact with your message and being more direct and the most direct impactful message that a quantum mechanic has is their personal experience so shout out to everybody who is referencing their spiritual journey from their actual experience because that's better than an athlete shooting a damn basketball Ball. That's better than an actor acting in a damn movie because the basketball in the movie ain't their personal story. That's somebody else's story that they getting up under. And so since the society gives them a lot of money, a lot of ducats, we look up to them. But the actual factual is we need to look up to these speakers that are referencing this esoteric light and bringing it to the forefront, utilizing these YouTube platforms for more than celebrity worship. See, but if you're not confused by this shit, then you're not even really woke. Because the confusion that exists within my being allows me to search for more uh, solutions, more realizations. Every day, I'm, I'm defogging or demystifying things that have been the foggiest of foggy my whole entire conscious journey. So now that we're in this space and time of the quantum mechanics, it's time to learn the actual modality of how to bring this to light and bring this to fruition. So now that all that digression is out the way, let's deal with some of the astrologic support in this conversation, family. What we have is the moon transiting over Saturn and Pluto today. And throughout the night, it transited Jupiter. So a lot of the present moment. So if you want like a, a articulate explanation of the moon conjunct Jupiter, a good book or audio book or a YouTube reference would be John Cabot Zinn and mindfulness or Eckhart Tolle, the power of now and really being present is activating a superpower uh, throughout the night but then throughout the day the actual allowance of present time magic and, and, and quantum mechanics in this present time allows us for major changes based upon the conjunction of Saturn and Pluto and these are external understandings that I'm referencing I'm referencing internal understandings based upon the actual portals in the non distance of the quantum world see from a quantum understanding the distance between me and Saturn is nothing because time and space doesn't exist the difference the distance 
distance between me and Pluto is nothing because time and space doesn't exist. See, these are the things that we work into when we understand astrology and we understand our correspondence. Time and space don't truly exist, but within the conscious mind, they the, the ego puts distance between things. Okay. And another understanding that allows us to tap into the quantum realm is that God isn't some distant, abstract thing. Because society has based upon our whole lives that God is some abstract, distant thing. So whether we're talking about education, science, or government, the three main pillars of society, they're centered in God. And God is unknown. God is mysterious. God sits in a throne in heaven. So if we build in sciences, we're building our science based upon this unknown principle. We're building our education on this unknown principle. We're building our government on this unknown principle. Are you surprised that our government is falling? Are you surprised that Donald Trump is the president? Are you surprised that your children ain't getting nothing but Adderall at school? Are you surprised that science is nowhere um, better than they was in 1966? At least in 1966 they was flying to the moon they not even doing that no more so obviously the degradation and the entropy of the society for which we live in is actually an, an, an a quickening or a raising up of the quantum energy what does Saturn and Pluto conjunct in this particular space and time mean in real terms if time and space doesn't exist our ability to transform our lives through time is now upon us and time is relative to your experience in quantum mechanics there's something that is referred to as plank time if you understand a plank a plank is something that you stand on and the lower you get on the plank the smaller the time becomes time becomes something that is immeasurable and understood and, and can't be really fathomed even through the most complex computations from the quantum realm meaning if you slow down time think about uh uh, I want to say Dr. Time, but it's Dr. Strange and how he was a master manipulator of time. See, these are not some superhero abilities that exist in a sci-fi paradigm. These are actually abilities that exist within you if you fully understand that. When you reduce yourself, you allow yourself to see the world in multiple different outcomes of what possibly could happen and from a quantum level you instinctively know the best possible outcome so the actions and lives and the things that you do become effortless they become extremely easy because you varied out all of the possibilities because while everybody else is living on seconds which is extremely long time when you reference quantum mechanics uh, another reference is ant-man when he goes into subatomic mode he can live a you can live a whole life of an understanding in a mere matter of a second when you reduce yourself to a subatomic mode So, if we could fully understand the power that rests within ourselves and not the power that exists within a person observing this thing and imagine this thing to be an educational thing, and there's a question on the chat about if there's any good books to read. Well, that's a good question, but that depends if you're trying to be a coach or if you're trying to be a player, right? Because books work well for coaches, but a coach is not going to help the team win the championship. Only a player would. So <laughs> you literally got to go out into the park and shoot jump shots. <laughs> okay. You got to practice. Okay. Reading will help you learn about the fundamentals and things of that nature. There are basketball books, but you mean to tell me LeBron James got so good at basketball because he read books? Does that make sense? The, the reality, Jazz, is that there are 15 billion possibilities that rely in this next moment. 
but if you only live in your life one the second see measurements of time have been given to you by watches and clocks and things of that nature but the the procession of time is just that some days are extremely long based upon the actions and the things that you do versus some days are extremely short based upon the actions and things that you do you can have an incredibly long day if you do a whole bunch of things you don't want to do when you are in a space of doing things that you truly love you ever had a late night session with a girl that you truly loved not even truly loved but the vibe was just right and what started at 12 o'clock ended at 7 o'clock and the day is coming up and you thinking like shit what you want for breakfast but you don't it wasn't a long arduous seven hours that had passed it seemed like a nanosecond when you truly in love with a person then that's a night but then it could be me and my wife been together for four years it feel like four months we working on our second child together and and it's like that's crazy we got a two-year-old i got a six-year-old and a and a four-year-old it feels like i just had my children yesterday it's it's gonna be a point in time where my children are all adults and i got grandkids but it's gonna feel like two months have passed because from the quantum reality time and space is different uh, another example is when you shoot a shot that's like 10,000 computations going off at once and the alignment and trajectory in the trajectory that it takes for the ball and the aerodynamic and the wind force that it takes in the arc and spin that you put on the ball to make a shot see all of this is very smart very mental what books can you read to learn how to make a shot but the, the 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 most simple natural thing to do is just go out there and shoot that shit. And you don't, <laughs> and the more practice that you do, it don't really matter about the books that you read. It really don't matter about the shit that you know. Can you go out there and shoot a shot? Can you go out there? Can you heal yourself? So peace to the family. You know we ranting and raving. It's a it's a great it's a great 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 rising to be able to explain certain understandings and certain realizations that you know permeate throughout the subconscious a lot of people say about all of these types of things but many people can't bring light to them um, in a space where it makes sense so I'm always grateful for my ancestors guides and you know particular self and family for allowing me to propel above the rigmarole and mumbo jumbo to speak to it in a clear Clear, direct fashion so I'm just grateful in this moment space and time so you might have to rewind this listen to this again for it to penetrate your subconscious if it don't make sense on the first try but I'm if I promise you if you follow along with the analogy and it just makes more and you and you begin to apply you begin to take your ass to the park and begin to shoot jump shots and an analogy for that would be going out into nature doing public rituals uh, doing geomantic spells tapping into particular grids and ley lines because that shit is the magic it, it, it don't matter what you do in your home if your home ain't on a particular grid or a ley line or holds a potential energy frequency so the same thing is like you know you can practice at home in the driveway and things of that nature but you're going to have to deal with the fears you're going to have to deal with the nature spirits you're going to have to deal with the fact that below the earth is billions upon billions upon billions upon billions of life of energy that exists and permeate at the bottom of our feet we are nothing but walking on the grounds of the ancestors we don't understand life in its full space time and continuum of what it exists and what it permeates to what it alchemizes into an example of this would be new york city and uh, uh rest in power pop smoke who passed away yesterday while i was having a conversation with uh, a, a young man named Wu in the clouds was actually from New York and Cali at the same time that the man had passed away and his album Pop Smoke's album was called Meet the Woo so that was a particular mind total mind warp yesterday um 
but in reference to New York City, in reference to Harlem, the island of Manhattan in specific, we are simply talking about a level of quartz crystal, a level, a level of electromagnetic energy that permeates and rises up out the surface. And over time, as that energy grows and strengthens, gentrification grows and strengthens. And the overall mind control message that are out into the youth now, see, we grown and we don't really understand what's happening with the youth. The youth are really into this actual culture of death and, you know, um, drill music. And drill music is simply individuals rapping about killing each other. So when we having conversations about quantum mechanics and really paying attention to the things that you say, uh, well, if you talking about killing people and things of that nature, then you actually attracting that energy. And if you listen into that type of energy, then you actually attracting that energy to you at some level, form, shape or another. And it might not be directed towards you. It might be directed towards the youth. So with all that being said, be very careful with your words. Be very careful with the things that you say be very mindful about the things that you say and if you wish to have a positive experience in this space time continuum speak that into existence act that into existence and live that out into your existence there's no sense in you know absorbing and dealing with this negative energy and attracting that negative energy and then regretting it later so Rest in transition to Pop Smoke. Uh, shout out to everybody in Harlem. Shout out to everybody in New York. Um, if you in Harlem and you in New York right now, I suggest you go out and meditate. Like meditate on the noise. Meditate on the goddamn train. Meditate on the smog. Because beneath your feet is the most powerful substance on the goddamn planet. I would walk around the financial district and be like the goddamn Michael Jackson video where he walking and the goddamn tiles is like up and shit oh yeah that's what it's like when you in new york if you you know i you take a bus into new york probably the most spiritual experience you'll ever have in your life because of the quartz and the crystals that the city is built on they like to say that new york is built on the trash and the landfill but that's a smoke screen rest in power pop smoke um so Jupiter sextile Neptune, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I just want to let people know that the power of being present is real. If you want a scholastic, articulate um, point of view that makes sense, that will get you into understanding this. I said this earlier, John Kabat-Zinn, mindfulness, everywhere you go, there you are. Um, and also Eckhart Tolle, the power of now. Uh, once you stay ready, you'll never have to get ready. If you are fixated and focused on the negative things that are about to happen, then that's what you prepare your life for. Even though things are presented to you, eviction notice, uh, they're cutting back your hours at work, so forth and so forth. Uh, you are fixated on the negative feelings or emotions tied to that thing and that's what you prepare yourself for at a quantum level but even the fact that you are getting evicted, at least you get to move to a better home. Even the fact that you get in reduced hours at work at least you got more time to do stuff on your um, more pres you got more time to do shit that you really want to do. So everything becomes a blessing when you look at it from a quantum level. OK, because whatever they take from you externally, they'll never take from you vibrationally because your vibration is your actual choice. So be prepared for the vibration that you want to experience, even if you got to trick yourself out of it sometimes. And the best way to trick yourself out of it is developing a spiritual understanding to life. Uh, we talked about this yesterday, so I'm not going to beat it down. But there's something spiritual that you can do. There's some ritual you can come up with that you can create create that you can make up and some altar you can put together that allows you to blast off to you know planets beyond the solar system and contact ancestors beyond space and time and now you ask how do you do that hood mystic i don't know you just make this shit up and go and you just go for what you know okay so the reason I came to this conversation was based upon the fact that I seen this word called metanoia. And I was like, metanoia? 
that sounds like one that sounds like my type of word <laughs> you know it's all about the mystery the word just came in my email yesterday and I'm like okay this is exactly what I'm talking about um, it was like a reddit feed or something like that and I'm like okay this is what I'm talking about and so metanoia is the journey of changing one's mind heart self or way of life through spiritual conversion the key word here is journey this is an overall everyday quantum change like like y'all don't even understand how much of a journey this is versus a destination meaning if you fixated on a destination you thrown out of metanoia because there is no such thing as a destination because a destination just breeds another destination meaning that you're on a journey no matter where you think you're headed to is going to continue to be a journey because no matter how much you take care of yourself no matter how you put yourself together there'll be still people who need some form of help and you don't want to be the king on top of the castle and have the whole world looking at you like you the bad guy I know it sounds like it's a good idea, but wait until you actually walk in those shoes. You're going to wish that you would have kept on going or keep or kept looking for the other. They kept moving towards the journey because the journey to get into where you thought you was going to get actually felt better than actually getting there. But then again, the journey implies that you are going beyond your actual mind or conscious self. A journey implies that you go into a place that you've never been before, at least in this space and time. Yeah, you traveled there before, maybe. But the reality is that if you decide to go to the store, that's a completely new experience. Even if you went to the store 50,000 times, it's going to be different cars. It's going to be different vibrations. It's going to be different birds flying around. It's going to be, you know, different inflections different shadows everything is new once you realize that life is a journey even if you've been doing the same shit every day even if it's the same job every day your journey through the process of even having a job begins to unloosen the chains of i'm gonna be working at this job forever and a simple loosening of a chain is really all you want. A simple understanding that you're moving in the direction of financial freedom is sometimes better than continuing down the path of not moving towards financial freedom or feeling like you're in financial lockdown, things of that nature. You can admit that you're in financial lockdown, but once you ascribe to metanoia, you are ascribing to the fact that you can move on and move past that particular lockdown. And so why do we want to deal with quantum mechanics? We're referencing back to the basketball analogy of playing basketball and shooting those jump shots and things of that nature. That analogy is then tied into self-healing, healing that cosmic uh, forgetfulness that we experienced through childbirth where everybody told you, you're a human being. Your name is s s such and such. You're a girl. You're black. You're rich. You're poor. Um, you do this. You do that you cross your legs when you sit down you say yes sir you say no sir or you know no ma'am yes ma'am all of these things take you out of quantum quantum mechanics but the the modality of dealing with quantum mechanics is the actual healing of them of them particular facts and so the problem with quantum mechanics is that most people never reduce themselves or never imagine that there's a modality that can heal themselves and even when they get a sniff they hear minister Jew and Ampu talking about quantum mechanics but then they also feel like damn these brothers know how to quantum mechanics and heal themselves but I don't but the reality is you know sometimes we are people who study these things through experience but sometimes we just study these things and can't fully utilize them at their full cap capability another reference would be dreams I'm not the best dreamer. I don't lucid dream. I don't have the best dreams, but my wife is not like that. So it's just one of those things where we could work with her dreams and then we could work with my analytical capabilities because maybe she not the best analyzer of facts and details and shit. So that's cool. I'm good at that. Let's put these two things together and make a nice uh, cosmic pie. 
So whatever you can do in the spiritual realm, whatever your spiritual niche is, whether it's nature, uh, whether it's just being clairvoyant or these practical things, like there's a such thing as practicing and building your actual psychic abilities to something that they increase over time. The same way as we are working out at the gym and we're shooting jump shots, I might miss my first jump shot, but if I keep practicing, if I keep shooting, then I begin to actually strengthen that actual muscle that allows me to shoot these J's. And maybe I'm a very, I'm a natural at it, but that don't necessarily mean that if I shoot my first jump shot, I should start teaching a class because even the best basketball players go to practice when it's, when it's time to practice. Work out in the off season and things of that nature, and the and the athletes that don't take the time don't take the the time to practice and build their skills up, they get washed out the league very fast. So don't rely on natural abilities to be your gateway to success. And if you don't have natural abilities, it don't come easy to you. It don't mean that you're not psychic. It don't mean it don't mean that you can't read minds. It don't mean that you can't change the material world with your mind. It doesn't mean that. It just means you haven't flexed that muscle and built up that endurance yet. But this is a challenge. This is a call to you to let you know that you absolutely can't. You just got to get your ass out in the game and stop reading books and thinking that the books is going to save you. Okay. And another part of this is quantum mechanics is not healing people. Quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is healing yourself. And when you heal yourself, you heal all types of people. You heal your family, you heal your friends, you heal your, you heal everybody when you heal yourself. But that don't mean you be selfish either. If you can't help a person, you do. And if you can't, you let them go. Swami Vivekananda said, condemn none. If you can stretch out a helping hand, do so. If you cannot, fold your hands, bless your brothers, and let them go their own way. So with this all being said, I know I was ranting and raving and shucking and jiving to the best of my ability. And maybe this was co confusing and maybe this didn't make no sense. So I opened the floor for all kinds of questions, comments and concerns. Hey, Mystic, are you OK? Like you sound really, really crazy right now. Um, so I just want to know what's the situation. Three eight five seven nine 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 five six zero. Get tapped in with the mystic. If you call, just give me a second to come join you, and we can talk about this thing. So three eight five seven nine 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 five six zero. And if y'all don't want to call, just let me know because I got a lot of shit to do. But I am gonna open up the floor for another thirty minutes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that quantum mechanics piece for dummies. A lot of people think it's the smart motherfuckers who got control of quantum mechanics. But that's just like saying Greg Popovich is the best NBA player. That don't make sense. It can never make sense. You young, you talented, you and your goddamn prime. You been, man, come on now. You better get your ass in the game. It's about to be playoff time real soon. Quantum mechanics from dummy. Share this. Tell a friend. You understand what I'm saying? Stop thinking that it's some complicated, hard thing that you got to do. Shout out to Mama Wata, Water Dreams. Uh, you know, your magic is simply dancing. It might be feeling like you got to do something real complicated, but dance for the Orishas. Dance for the spirits and the guidance and the, and the ancestors. Let them feel you. You know what I'm saying? And having that connection with the ancestors and the spirit where something is natural and easy. Uh, you don't got to actually perform for people all the time. You can perform for spirits. You can put on shows for spirits. Spirits. I know I go down to the river and I drum for the fairies. I drum for the ancestors. I drum for, you know, the casual walkers by, you know. It's like a little valley that sits on a river fork and it's like a perfect spot. I can sit down and place my drum and I drum and it's like in the valley. So people are walking by at the top 
on both sides and you know families walk by like what the hell <laughs> like, I don't know where I'm just sitting there drumming but I feel the energy watching and observing and applauding and dancing and giving thanks that somebody cares about them so I just wanted to share that with you mama Wata 385-799-9560 I say dancing is the way of praying or connecting to the energies. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But I can't dance, though. So they probably look at me. <laughs> dancing is the way for me to, you know, crack jokes on myself or something like that. So to the people who got it, make sure you flaunt it. You understand? And there's so many, it's so many melanated and, and just women in general throughout the cosmos that have the quantum ability to heal through the modality of dance through the through the modality of being sensual through the modality of taking care of themselves such a powerful thing when you think about how how simple this quantum mechanics can be quantum is dancing right so like think about dancing think if i read a book on how to dance <laughs> Think about how crazy that is, you know. Um, I'm reading this book on how to dance. I know every book on how to dance. And then, you know, uh, Hot Boy, uh, what's the song? Um, the Hot Boy song. Um, back That Ass Come Up. And I'm like, okay, Back That Ass Come Up. Where's that Dr. Francis Chris Wilson book at about? Okay, Back That Ass Up. We go, all right, shake my booty to the left, bounce my right butt cheek, then do a two-step. Oh, uh, Y'all going too fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Okay, you, you got a big butt. Back that ass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Left step, right step. Damn, this Dr. Fresh Crash Wesson book is is good, but it don't help me <laughs> get to the point where I can really drop it low on the dance floor. I gotta actually get out there and practice. So, um, so imagine your ability to dance, and dancing is a form of healing and dealing with the quantum realm. But we imagine that the people that's reading about this shit can actually tap in, and we can't. The man, come on, this shit gets so deep. This shit get beyond deep when we think about it, but you know, it's about changing the ways that we look at this world and then utilizing and applying these magical forces like almost simultaneously, effortlessly, and you know, just super easy. So three eight five seven nine 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 five six zero. Don't don't <laughs> don't 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 try to take a don't don't try to sneak. You know what I'm saying? I know how them supervisors be. So if it's a work thing, it's a work thing. Uh, Friday, today is Thursday. Friday we gonna switch it up. Instead of 8 a.m., we doing 8 p.m. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully you be off of work and you can call in and we can do it like that. We'll be discussing the new moon. Those are always fun. Those are always fun. So I'm gonna give y'all about like two seconds. Y'all better stop playing. Three eight five seven nine 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 five six zero. And if y'all don't want to call, that's perfectly fine. Cause I'm super super busy. Lamar, you said recommend a decent instruction vid. It ain't like, man, when I go out and drum, I just be like drumming, bro. Like, I don't, my wife would tell you, like, <laughs> I just be drumming. Like, it comes from the soul, man. It comes from the soul. Well, just play that joint. You know what I'm saying? Just just feel that shit, you know, and, and play, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, man. You are the instructional vid. You feel me? Like the melodies that you create through your body and through your impulses, you know, start simple and build and go crazy. Make sure it's off beat. Make sure it sounds crazy as hell. But beat on that thing harder and louder. You understand what I'm saying? F feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? And create your own instructional uh, drum video. You know what I'm saying? Because. I might be wrong, but you know what I'm saying? That's just what I do. That's just what I do. Yeah, just move your arms, move your hands, and just be. Shout out to you, Straight Panther. You got me, uh, shoot, shoot me an application there. <laughs> 
Yeah, be sure y'all do that, man. I can see it's Thursday. They got y'all on it real tough, you know. So I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. Uh, please be sure to tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. I hope y'all was able to grab this message and uh, apply it in your life. Just understand that it's the simple things. It's the things that you do effortlessly and easily that are the most magical things that exist on the planet. But you think that it has to be educationalized and institutionalized. But that's the greatest trick known to man so let's take it to the next level and understand that we are the magic peace to the family and i'll see you guys tomorrow 8 p.m not 8 a.m see y'all tomorrow